Welcome to Cabin House. This is a high-end Scandinavian-inspired cabin about two hours outside of Montreal, Canada. My favorite interior feature is definitely the floor-to-ceiling windows in the living room. They are absolutely gorgeous, especially when combined with the cozy fireplace. There's also a ton of outdoor space, including a hot tub and a fire pit. So strap in, it is now time to go and start the full tour. Welcome to Cabin House, a gorgeous modern Scandinavian cabin tucked away on the perfect little parcel of land in Canada. As you can see, I visited at the perfect time for fall foliage, all of those orange and yellow leaves meshing together to form that beautiful backdrop. I was there in early October for reference, more on the fall foliage later. Let's now get closer to the cabin and right outside the front door, you have this very large supply of firewood. So I'm gonna grab a couple of logs and make my way over to the fire pit. I will call this more like a fire cauldron. This thing was absolutely massive. But I'm gonna toss some of the logs on and now our fire is all good to go. You know, I love my slick black exteriors there with the cabin in the background. You can easily fit four people around this fire pit to make up some s'mores or just to relax at the end of your day. Next up, I'm going to take the drone and begin to zoom out because it's time for my favorite part, and that is to go and see the fall foliage. This is definitely one of my favorite shots. I mean, whew, just look at those colors. You can see the mountain range there in the distance, and this is what the surrounding area looks like in the fall. There seems to be an endless supply of rivers, lakes, and outdoor activities to do. Again, I visited in early October, so be sure to come around then for some similar conditions. Now that we've seen the fall foliage in the surrounding area, let's turn our attention back to the cabin. We're gonna walk past the fire pit and return to where the wood is. There's even a little sign that says cabin house, so the branding is on point. Let's open up this door and it's time to head inside. When you first enter, you'll see this to the right and this to the left with the bathroom and bedrooms. We're gonna go to the right into the living room and kitchen. And there is that huge wall of endless windows and the fireplace is already going. We'll begin in the kitchen where there is this big kitchen countertop island. There are four chairs, and if we go behind all of that, you'll see everything else. It includes those three shelves in the top left-hand corner with some extra plates, mugs, and glasses. And this is a very well-equipped kitchen. You have everything from your fridge and freezer units to your dishwasher to your oven and stovetop, all top of the line. And the host also left behind this nice bottle of local cider. Let's go and check out the living room next. You can see the sun beams in perfectly later in the day around sunset. And this is again your view when you first walk in. On the right though, you can find a modern couch along with a footstool and some extra blankets. And then there's also your coffee table in front. Starting a fire is super easy though in the wood stove. There's plenty of firewood and fire starting supplies and now we're all good to go. You can see there are two additional chairs there to the left and this is what everything looks a little more zoomed out. There are some good books on top of the coffee table so I was reading near the fire towards the end of the day. I'll now slide back this door to go to the best part of the exterior, and that is your outdoor deck. I mean, just look at how much space you have. This is another fun angle that I found with my drone. I think it shows off the architecture and design of this cabin even better. And this is an aerial view to give you a better idea of the dimensions of this home. In terms of the exact amenities out here, you have this hot tub, which is built straight into the deck. It can easily house all four guests. There's also that staircase, so you can walk down further into the backyard. Next, you have plenty of seating options like those two chairs. There's also a dining table with a bench and two additional chairs, so you can dine outside. Finally, if I round the corner, I'll see a grill at the end, and I found another cool angle with my drone showing off my favorite windows. 
I was lucky to have my girlfriend join me for a portion of this trip so you can be seen here enjoying the local cider that the host left behind and taking in all the views on the outdoor deck. Back inside, I'm now gonna open up this door directly opposite of the front entrance, and this will take us into the one bathroom in this Airbnb. It's very modern, black, and fits quite well with the rest of the cabin. I think these hosts definitely love their octagons. I really liked the floor tiling and the shape of that mirror. Opposite of all of that, you can then find a simple shower with those large white towels, some great water pressure, and all of your shampoo, conditioner, body soap, and other basic showering supplies is all provided. Moving further down that same hallway, I'm going to open up this door on the far right to take us into bedroom number one of two. I especially loved all the black finishing along that far wall behind the bed and those two hanging lighting fixtures which gave me a bit of a boho feel to them. There's also a closet in here for some extra storage space. Finally, I'll open up this door all the way at the end of the hallway and we're going to walk into the master bedroom. Both of the bedrooms in this cabin have a queen mattress in them, and if you walk closer to the left, you'll notice there are small tables on either side of the bed. Pretty simple, down below you can see this little plate, and then up top there is an alarm. If I recall correctly, it's a touchscreen, it tells you the weather and some other info, and on the other side of the bed you have one of those cool charging stations. I'll shift our attention away from the bed to look more along this other wall. There are some additional neat decorations. I definitely want to know where these hosts shop at so I can pick up some things for my own future home. I really love their style. But this is a great work from home setup. You have a simple desk and chair here and the Wi-Fi was super fast. I work with a lot of large files for this YouTube channel and my other businesses and I had no issues. To wrap up in this room, we'll look over here and you can see some extra blankets in that basket in the far corner. There also are some fun outdoor games in those two boxes. If I grab one of them, this particular one is a giant domino set. So some great entertainment to play out back in the backyard. There also is not a closet in this bedroom, but the hosts were still super smart and they set this thing up and you can hang your jackets quite easily. Thanks so much for watching guys. The link to book this place is down in the video description. I highly suggest a stay here. I think it's perfect for a small group or a family. And I have a ton more videos coming from Canada in the next few weeks, so stay tuned. Everywhere from Ontario to Quebec to Nova Scotia, you guys are in for a real treat, so be on the lookout. Until next time, I will see you very soon for another Airbnb tour. Thank you.